What's up, how you doing? Welcome to another tutorial. I could for it in this section. We're gonna be doing the Python full crash course, so we are gonna be doing that immediately. All right, so if you want to make a tutorial request, don't forget to like and subscribe. After you subscribe, then comment down below. I'm also gonna leave a link to this um, to our group channel so you can join and also follow on and with us. All right, so we are gonna be working with Python. So I guess if we download the Python from python.org, all right, so if you have that set up already. So all you need to do is just open up a text editor. Um, it's suitable for you to create a to create a file to keep everything. So we are going to be looking at the basic hello world, right? So let me just save this as hello. Let's see why. Save this. Uh, okay. Go to this place. I'm gonna save it on the desktop. Um, I created a folder copy white suit. All right. Save it here. I'm safe. All right. So. I'm gonna zoom this in. So to, st to start to write in the screen using Python, all we need to do is just put in points then hello world. Alright, so when I save this on its Windows app, open up the terminal, then cd to the directory, cd means change directory, to so cd desktop and cd um, py tips. Right, so I'm just gonna clear this. After that, all I need to do is just um, put in python hello dot py all right so when i wait a minute uh, nice now so we have hello world written in the script so this is how we write a simple hello world in python you can also write hello world using um, a string um, a number i can also five then add back j right you can see we have hello world and five all right so this basic hello world is dragon next we are going to be looking at the variables Right, so I'm just gonna create a new file um, for the variables. Right, so variable variables are um, I call them local storage used to store information so that they can be callable anytime we need them. So to create a variable, alright. So the number of variable are x comma y comma comma name comma um bowling. Alright, so this is x, so this is just gonna represent I'm gonna save this first as well. Variables var dot py right so what this means is that x y name and bowling so i can assign the value to the x like this so this is just gonna be uh i'm gonna open up the bracket and for the x i'm gonna put one for the y i'm gonna put 0 0.5 for the name i'm gonna put um precious and for the bowling i'm gonna put two Alright, so let me check this. I can print x comma y comma name comma bowling. Alright, so when I save this and go back to our terminal, then when I put in Python bar the py, I can see we have an error. Uh, true is not the final. Right, so capital letter true like this. Alright. So when I go back, right now you can see we have one is open five pressures and true. So this is we just create a basic um, variable. Why is that the variable is in is in one line? So don't be confused. You can also do it in different lines. All right. So to fasten things, that's why I did like this. So type of variable is just this is an integer, this is a boolean, and uh, sorry, this is a float, float which are decimal. This is a string, and this is a boolean. A boolean is just true, of course. Alright, so for us to check the type of the kind of um, things thing we are using, we can do um, print type. Uh, we, I'm just gonna um, try it if it's gonna work here. I'm gonna do print type. Um, okay. Mm, takes one argument. Right, so it takes only one argument to pass our lots inside, so this is not gonna work. So let me just go back and do point i. It's gonna be x. So when I hit one and run this, you can see we have our x, which is one is an integer. An int means an integer. So I'm gonna push this to um, one, two, three, one. Right. So this is gonna be y. This is gonna be name. And this is gonna be bowling. Alright, so when I save this, go back there and you know, I can see we have with I'm just gonna play this and we run again. Right here. 
now you can see we have classes on this is a one is an integer 0.5 is a fruit name is a string and true is a bowling all right so i told you true is either bowling is either true or false so let's try the first also cover again and run i can see we still have false is also a bowling so this uh variables in um python all right so the next time we are going to, we are going to be looking at strings in python all right let's take a look at string in python all right so now I created the variable called name precious and then age equals to 20. So initially our string there is what name which is equals to precious. Right, so let's try to join them together. I can do a uh, point it should be on uh, point uh, I am um, then no let's do my name is plus this plus uh, name plus space again plus I am plus space plus h alright so this looks very very stupid but let's just do a clear this so I'm gonna do python string dot py you can see uh, this is an entity that cannot be converted to a string so for me to do that I can just put in str to this so this is gonna convert it to a string for me so if I should run this again I can see my name is special and I'm, I'm 20 years old alright so this is very very stupid too long and not very very good but we can do that in a simpler way using the f string alright so I can just do print f then my name is name and I am page Yes, cool. Alright. So when I save this um Kepa, I can see my name is precious and I'm 20 years old. Alright. So this is how we work with strings and Python. And this is the one I use the most more prefer more preferable. Alright, so we have from um, the string method. So we have a string method. Alright, so I should have um let me comment this. I have s equals to a so I can run something like um uh, Point S dot happy capitalize capitalize. Alright, so when I see this and go back and run, like I can see we have H. So you see H is smaller than here, but when I run this, it became capital letter in the first one. I can also do um, so copy this. I can also do S dot upper. Uh, Alright, I can see we have everything upper case. Same thing we can do for lower as well now. You see I have lower case, everything is lower case. Um we also have something we call swap case. So let's check that it should be swap key. You can see we have swap case. It swaps. Let's see, let me run that again. You can see it's I guess it's like that. Alright, so we have another one. Um, we have name. Name is for I think it's for counting. Yes. And I'm not sure if it's like this. Alright, so it's not like this. So the name basically we need to pass in the stuff inside. Like you can see, we have three. So this is one, two, three. So we have that. Then we have um. Mm, Let's try count. Count, count, count. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna copy this one instead. Then go back to one. Alright, so count is not defined. Blah 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 blah. Uh, well, let me try it here also. This should be count. Alright, so this count okay. So I think I know why. So I'm gonna delete that. This count only this. What if I put a low word? Um invalid syntax um, make it a string instead and go back here. Count is not defined on uh, S dot oh sorry. 
Now I'm gonna explain. I think I know why it's like this. Alright. Now you can see we have a zero in this place. Let me play this and run. Now you see we have a zero in this place. The reason why is that it is counting what it finds here in the in the variable above. Alright. So let me put in. Uh, let me delete it. It's not a string. Let me put h. When I run it, like, I mean, h is not the point. Right. I can see we have one because it is there. E also, and we have one, so that is how it works. So I said, want to look at the method? Don't uh, just Google about it. All right, let's take a look at the list in Python programming language. All right, so list are just like um, just like a um, collection of data that are stored in the variable. Yes, in the variable. If I'm not mistaken, it's not gonna be big. So I can create a list by doing number equals to the list can be one, two, three, four, five, right? Then I can print numbers. So let me go to terminal for this. It should be um list of DI. So you can see you have a list one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's how to create a list. We can also create a list using a, a construct a constructor. Right, so let me have numbers two equals to and I can use a list. Sorry. So list. Alright, so this is gonna one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna cut this and paste it here. Sorry. This is gonna be numbers from numbers two. So I'm, I, I want to print both of them so you see. So I can see we have the same list. So this has been bought. It's preferable to use this. It's preferable, it's preferable to use list. All right. We can have a string of an array. So this list is just an array. Apart from having this number, I can also do fruits equals to apple orange uh here all right and i can print put when i go back and run that you can see we have it like that all right so we can get the first the first one um, the first value of the fruit of the oven away you get the first value we use this print fruit then bracket then the zero so we count from zero in every program and this is zero one two all right so if i should go back and run this like i'm saying we have apple same thing i should do from one we should be having orange all right so this is how it works i'm gonna play this all right so now now we can get the length of a fruit so of an oven away so let's try that point then so it's just like you get the length of an array in the previous one is a string because so it in the string we can also do for an array so let me go back and run that all right you can see we have three this is one two three all right also we can add to our add to our fruit you know, we can add to our array so to add to our you can just do fruit dot append we're gonna append them um, to not then print fruit. So when I go back and run now, you can see we have um pear orange, apple orange, pear and coconut. Coconut has been uh, has been added to it successfully, and also I can also remove. So let's remove the coconut we just added. So this will remove um coconut. Alright. So let me print. So when I go back down and run, I can see we have successfully removed the fruit. Alright, so that that is some basic things in a way. Okay. So we can also insert it to position. We can also insert it to posi position. I can do fruit. We're gonna insert the coconut again. Insert into position. So this is zero one two. Zero one. So I wanna I wanna insert it to the one. The position one so is gonna be coconut. Alright. So when I print fruit, I can see 
it was added is zero is zero one so one and this one which now move to two you can see so we are we started into that position all right we can also remove by position so i can do foot dot pop uh, let's remove two right so let me print foot you can see we have zero one two all right now we remove orange by position right to remove orange by position now we can also reverse our list we can also reverse our list so i can do fruit dot reverse print fruit when i run that now like i'm seeing now it has been reversed this is not like this all right so um, now we can sort it we can sort it i can do fruit dot sort then print and uh, put i can see it can be sorted so coconut apple and pear all right so those are the basic things in arrays or list in python next we're going to be looking at the topic Right, so now let's take a look at the top pool. So we're gonna create a unique file. I'm gonna see this as top pool. So the top pool is just like another version of them, of a list. But instead, instead of using uh, the bracket, the square bracket, we need to use the bracket and instead. So to create the top pool, let's create a foot equals to. It's gonna be a uh, apple, comma orange, comma pear. Right, so this is just it. Right, so if I should do print put I'll go back there and clear this, it should be um, top put. Right, you can see we have it. So we can also be create this using um, constructors. All right, this can be put two equals to top put. Top hole, then now uh, we can pass in the same thing apple, comma, orange, comma, here. Alright, so I can come by and do print fruit and freeze two. When I save this around, that can be still have the same result. Now we can get, um, we can get the first index also. So let me just comment this. Alright, so delete. Delete this. I can comment get the first index too. So when I run this, I can see we have Apple because Apple is the first index. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So you can be able to see it very well. We can get the index also. So in topos, values are unchangeable. So I can't change anything in topos. Unlike um, in the list that we were able to manipulate it, make some changes, add, add to it, delete from it. But in topos, we can delete a tuple I mean we can delete everything so to delete the top I can just do um delete this is the delete fruit alright so when I do print fruit so when I run this now now you can see we have an error that says fruit is not divine you can see it ran here but it didn't run here why because we deleted the fruit already so it is not it cannot run again so I'm just gonna comment this comment this all right we can also count how many it is we can also count how many it is and do print then foot so when i run keep this and run this i can also see it's also three so that's the only thing that's the basic thing you can do in top of right next so we are going to so now a set is like an advanced version about version of this than the top of <laughs> Right, so let me just save this. Right, so I'm gonna be creating fruits also here. Equals to this can be apple. You can see we created a if a, a set using the quality bracket orange and then let's try mango. Alright, I can print fruits. So I'm not sure if this have a constructor. I'm gonna play this. So that is how we just build it. So this is set. Now you can see we have our set. Are the successfully created so let's check if if a set is not empty so if you say i can just do print um like if apple in the fruit 
So I can go back there and run this. I can see this is true because we have happened in in um in our set. I can see it is not sorted very well. It was sorted reversed. Look at it, what it here and look at it, we are having it here. So that's how a set works actually. So we can also add to a set by using the add keyword. So this can be um uh, we can use fruit dot add or banana alright so when I print fruit when I print fruit now you can see we have um, banana has been started also right so that is that we can also remove I'm gonna remove the same banana fruit dot remove banana alright print I can see our banana has been removed also. Alright, so we can clear all. We can clear all, all everything inside. So this is the put dot dot clear. Then print put. When I head back there and run, I can see everything has been cleared. So we have this empty set in all. So I'm just gonna uh, you know comment this because I'm gonna still be using it. So. I can delete the set. Same thing, you can just use delete set, um, delete fruit instead. Just like that. You can do print fruit. You see, we have an error just like we did in the top one. I can see fruit is not different because we deleted it. And again, I'm gonna be connecting this out. Alright. So, that is all for set. Next, we are gonna be looking at dictionary. Alright, so now let's take a look at the dictionary. I'm gonna clean this big. big what alright so a dictionary is just like a way to store a key and a value so example when I have a person oh sorry equals to now we see use this but inside I have you are going to have a key and a, and a value so this can be first name equals to um John sorry First to John, then comma, last name, equals to do. Alright, so when I go down and print person, alright, so this is gonna result into something like this. And then I'll go back here and put a uh, dict. I can see we have it. Our dictionary was printed out successfully. Alright, we can also use constructor for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be looking at that. Let's just stick to this. Alright, so we can also print the first the first key. So when I copy this and get this, this is gonna be our first key. You can see we are not using pencil, we are using the first name. So when I print it, you can see we have John inside the first key, in the, the first value in the first key. So next is on. Um, we mm. can add key to and value to it so I can just do person then phone so phone is the key and the value there is a number we got to use 4, 4, 3, 3, 5, 6, 6, 6. alright so now I can put person again so when I go back and run this I can see we've added our phone successfully to our the journal thing. Okay, we can also get keys. I can just do um yeah I can do print person dot keys. I'll go back there and run this. Now you can see we have dictionary keys. We can also do them to get our values. Our values the items are me. So this can be Items, alright. So when I see this, sorry, items, I wrote item. items. So when I run this now, like I'm seeing dictionary item, now we have everything there, alright. So we can copy a, we can copy a, this, uh, a, a dictionary. I'm gonna create a new variable called person 2 equals to person dot copy. So we use the copy keyword. So for us to see the changes, I can just add a country to this country. 
control equals to nearly is gonna be on Nigeria. So let me print percent two. When I save this and I run this now, you can see we have percent two copy now. We have control Nigeria. So we copy the first one and give it to the second one. We can also remove an item. So let me move one in the in the person two. So I can do delete person two. So we are gonna be going the um the country. So let me move the country then print person two. And you can see the country has been removed. Alright, or we can also use pop instead. We can also use pop inside. Let me just do that for uh person two dot pop. I'm gonna be moving um the last name in this case. So when I print person two, and you can see our last name has also been removed. Alright. So we can also clear everything. I can just do person two dot clear print person two. So you can see it has been clear. So we have an empty dictionary. Alright. So we have an empty dictionary. Now we can also have a list of dictionaries. So let me try that by using all equals to this. Then inside we can have a dictionary then. So I can have a name equals to John, then age equals to 30, comma, right. So down here I can also have another one which is um, name equals to do mm, and age. Is, um, 20. All right, so this is just it. Then I can just do print all. So when I go back there and run this, I can be saying now you see we have it. So let's get the values. If I want to get the value, I can just do copy this. Then I'm gonna get the value of the first person one then the name so the first part this is the second person zero and one so we should be having do right now you can see we have do if i want to get the first person i can just put zero and let me get the age instead a g e turn around this now you should be saying we have 30. so we have 30 all right so this is how we work with dictionary to python and lastly now we are going to be looking at functions in python now I'll be looking at functions in Python, so I'm going to say you can also use a song but P, P, Y. But to create a function in Python, we use the dev keyword. So I'm going to be dev from, it's going to be say hello. Alright, sorry. So I can just do um, print, print L, that F string, hello to the name. Right, so I'm coming and passing an argument called name. So, so they're coming around this. So let me go back there, play this, and let me put this as form. I can see we have nothing right because we haven't called back the function. So I can just do CLO and put in pressures. Alright, so when I run down now you can see hello pressures. So that is how we work with uh, with functions. Also, we can also use return value. For example, we can use the sum equals to number one comma number two. So these are variables that we declared inside the inside the function of the team. So I can do total equals to num one plus num two. Then I can do return total. Right? So you can now I can now do sum. 3, 4. So when I run this, I can, oh, we have a low pressure. This is not still working now. You can do print. So when I run this now, you can have this. You can see we have 7. But it's more preferable, more need to do something like this. 
I can do all the first two. Sum the points. Odd. And let's go back down. I can see we see R7. Alright, so we can also create function using the I think I'm um, the lambda function. This is somehow get okay gets all equals to I can use lamb lambda alright lambda number one comma num two then num one plus num two alright so I can do print get all I'm just gonna return from a fifteen. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's check if it will work. I can see we have twenty-five. So this is just a like a shorter way to create a function in Python. All right. Now, lastly, now we are now going to look at the conditions of Python. All right. So we are going to be looking at the conditional statements in Python. So I'm just going to put this account. Okay. So the first one I'm going to do like is if five statement. I can do if five less than four less than six. Sorry. Point. Yes. So you can see we use this this double column instead of using this in Python. Right. After adding that is you, you need a for space. So normally your test is supposed to do that for you, but if you want to do it on your, on your system, you can just press the tab. It's gonna work. Or you can just do put your space one two three four just one time this is gonna work so when i go back and run punch of py now you can see we have yes i'm just gonna tell this put that there all right so you can also add an else statement to it so at the back else point no all right so this is still gonna give us yes but i have to change this let me put four and we know five is no less than four so normally Oh, sorry, I ran the wrong one. This is supposed to be con. I can see we have no. So we can have an, an else if statement in many places. So let me try equals to. So we use equals equals to declare is something match together. So when I go back and run this, you can see so we still have yes because 5 equals equals to 5. Equals to yes. Alright. So let's just put this less than five right so right in this case i'm going to put lc ln lc this is using lc use a leaf to a leaf five equals equals to five equal okay we can do else print no. so when I run this now, you can see we have equal because 5 is equal to, to, equal to 5, right? So that's an if else statement. So next, let's look at um, a for loop. Let's look at for loop. All right. So you can just, I can create a loop of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. For, I can do for i in loop. And I can do print. So when I run this now, I can see we have one, two, three, four, five, five. We put that. So that is how we use for loop in, you know, in Python. So the next one we can also use a, a range. We can also use range, right? For sorry, for i in range. Let's just give it some um, range of ten. Right, I can do point I. So when I go back around this line, you can see we have um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 9. This is basically 1, 2, 3 to 10, but in the program it is 1 to 9. So we can use the range to create any random number. So next one I'm going to be looking at is um, the while loop. So the while loop is just count equals to 0. All right, so this will run while our statement is true. So while while y count is less than or equals to less than or equals to 10 then we can print uh, count 
Let me run this now. I can see you can see we have one to ten. We have one to ten. But normally, if I should comment this, this is supposed to give us zero 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 zero. But because I added plus one, so it keeps adding one plus one, one plus one. So now I this. I right, see so you can see one plus one and so on. So we add everything like that, All right? So. That is um, basically all the loops in Python. Alright, hope you like it. So, I don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.